Welcome to School of Civil Engineering. As we have started a State Foundation Advanced Tutorial Series, this is last part. And uh, in our previous video, I have almost um, done till load provided on our Step Foundation. So in this video, I will finish that. So for that, first of all, I will click Step Foundation Advanced. So after state foundation advanced, we will open our previous model. So here state foundation, step foundation, open. So these are previous model, I mean our work. So we have completed till our load factors, load and factors. Then we will click here, pile, it's ok. Then we will click here create a new job create a new job so from here create a new job first of all we have to give it the job title so I'll give SF main stuff foundation then from here we have to select this strap foundation so click here then select the design code unit type anything you required sorry we'll select SI then assign to all support SCI code so if to click here and after that we have to click here create job okay so if we go down and we'll select both two foundation that one and also sorry press by pressing control that one and that one then click and create from selected nodes okay now we'll go here here is our extra foundation so if you see that this rest of foundation and now we'll go here concrete and reinforcement so from here if we increase that so here first of all we have to give the value for concrete and reinforcement uh, unit weight of concrete uh, suppose it's 25 kilonewton per meter cube you have to give anything that uh, your design requirement just I'm giving it as default I'm not changing anything from here then minimum bar spacing 45 then a strength of concrete this is the strength of concrete, the yield strength of e steel, that is the yield strength of e steel, then mi minimum footing bar size 8, 8 millimeter or anything, suppose it's 10 millimeter, then maximum footing bar size is 22 millimeter, then uh, top minimum footing bar size 6, the top max footing bar size 6, and uh, minimum pedestal bar size 12 and maximum pedestal bar size you can change that according to requirement what is required for your design okay then uh, beam minimum beam minimum bar size main bar here suppose 12 millimeter or you can this is the minimum bar size okay the beam maximum bar size 25 then beam minimum bar size is strap before beam strap it's 8 and for maximum strap it's 12 you can change that according to requirement what you want to give then type of strap beam okay uh, you can give a 2 4 6 8 suppose 2 then set as default yes then click here cover and soil so from here it is the pedestal clear cover 50 millimeter okay 14 clear cover 50 you can uh, increase decrease that unit weight of soil 18 kilo newton per meter cube then soil bearing capacity here then embedded footing depth here is the footing depth embedded footing depth then surcharge 
depth of water you can also increase that suppose it's twenty meter not consider uh, the water table that's why we have give the huge depth so beam bottom clear cover the beam bottom clear cover if we zoom that beam bottom clear cover 50 okay bottom top cover 50 beam side cover 50 set default yes after that we'll go here footing geometry so from footing geometry for left footing this for left footing and this for right footing this for this is the left and this is the right not identical footing so length width and height length width height are given here 1200 1300 and 350 okay this is the thickness 350 so 12 13 and 350 length 12 width 30 350 and for another column uh, 14 18 20 45 18 2000 and okay it's also default 45 okay then maximum length this is the maximum length uh, okay this is the maximum length maximum height here given then uh, offset x for first column so if we see that in our figure this is in center point but it's have offset so not in uh, z direction in x direction what is the offset from center point to column center point it's 0 0.5 0 0.5 so we have to give here 500 zero zero, 500 millimeter okay it's maybe negative minus 500 zero zero millimeter yes then other parameters has the footing plane increment or anything you can beam with if you want to give a beam with beam with suppose we'll consider 350 or 300 millimeter and beam depth will be 500 millimeter and overturning factor anything you can give here according to requirement so if you want to give anything so it is done after that we'll go here for our design analysis i'll click here so here it's showing the error footing maximum thickness exists footing embedded depth okay sorry we have to change that please modify input footing maximum thickness exists footing embedded Embed embedment depth then we'll go here footing geometry sorry concrete and reinforcement here it's showing uh, footing maximum thickness maximum pedestal bar Sorry, here footing geometry. Is it in footing thickness? Maximum is the maximum footing maximum thickness means uh, here height and maximum thickness. So 
Tapos we'll give her uh, six, and also we'll give her six six hundred millimeter. Okay, we'll give her maximum six hundred millimeter. Then we'll go for other parameters. Now again we'll go for our design. It's showing same problem. So if we go here, sorry, um, here its footing maximum thickness is more than the footing embedment depth so we have to change the footing embedment depth first of all we'll go here footing geometry and i have changed that i'll give it one two zero as default and one two zero as default then i will change here clear coverage soil footing embed embed footing depth one three zero zero millimeter okay so now we'll go for design it's analyzing so it's showing footing design failed so we have to find out for what reason our footing are being failed so if we click here and if we see that So if we see that, we'll found So from here we have to find out our reason for failed Uh, sorry, we have to check out that where we have done mistake. Uh, first of all, we'll go first. Uh, sorry, add parameter. Uh, it's maybe okay. Footing geometry. Um, it's also okay. And our embedded depth footing. It should be more than our maximum height of our footing here then concrete arrangement sorry maybe we have done a mistake here top minimum footing bar and top maximum footing bar here we are using only 6 millimeter bar it shouldn't be we have to use the maximum size of bar then that is only 6 bar that's why maybe it's showing that problem so as we have increased now we'll go again for analysis wow it's done so it's done for now so if we go down here is our analysis and this is this shake are okay this shake are also okay this shake okay okay plan this is the plan view for footing 2 this check okay this check okay okay this also okay here okay uh, this is okay it's also okay okay it is a single reinforced beam so if we go FD checker okay now we'll go for our detailing and schedule so if we see here here is our foundation this is the foundation and if we go here sorry it's showing 
huge size this is for one foundation and this is for another foundation 1.6 feet it's 16.404 feet so and uh, it's showing the maximum value but we can use that uh, as fixed so if we go footing geometry so from here the length with height and also we have to give value here okay we have to give value here for length with height same same value so if we give one two zero zero uh, one eight zero zero sorry sorry one eight zero zero then one three zero zero again here we have to give two zero zero and our thickness three five zero and also our thickness four five zero four five zero done now we'll go for again design is it okay or not we're seeing so sorry it's showing wrong uh, our minimum required value are not allowable or not enough for that foundation design okay so you can also change that or you can do it according to your requirements so if you see that first error the error in input please select fixed width option from the footing geometry okay so here for footing geometry if we see identical footing not identical footing and other parameters here and after that error in input for footing thickness increment so footing thickness increment error and maximum specified thickness is less than the minimum thickness plus thickness increment okay so if we again go here thickness increment so I'll end putting geometry others parameter Footing thickness increment, footing plan increment, it's zero, and also if we give here, it's zero. Then what will be if we again analysis? So it's also failed. So for what reason it's failed? If we see here, error in input for footing, minimum width, maximum width, and footing increment. Error in input false selected fixed length and uh, option from footing geometry so you're seeing that we can use a uh, fixed geometry I mean our fixed geometry here and if you require that you have to increase that also you have to increase thickness or uh, the reinforcement diameter uh, reinforcement diameter then you have to retake for several time so I think it, it is clear to you as the video being very lengthy that's why I'm not going to show you that so thank you thank you very much and in our previous here is our uh, detailing it's not available here cause we have redesigned and uh, from here you will found your scheduling after drawing and you can also save it by clicking save drawing so thank you thank you very much yes, still stay connected till next video and uh, if you think that that is helpful for you just press the like button and also leave a comment and don't forget to subscribe to my channel uh, for next video so thank you thank you very much s12 stay connected till next video